Hello everyone, today I'm here for Jaded Blossom. My card is part of the hop, but my video is not. So I'll have a link to my blog. So if you want to play along, you can. Here we go. I use the girl gnome dies, the gnome dies, the chick add-on dies, and these are brand new and you'll see the little chickies that I made with these, the Easter tweets outline dies and the stamp that goes together I used the sentiment on the bottom happy Easter to my favorite chick and I used the old uh, Easter add-on dies for a little bow and the spring dies I just want to show you you get the little um, grass the one the bigger one that was a, like a special it was a time limit and I used the slimline dies from Jada Blossom. So lots of cool goodies from Jada Blossom. Four by eight and a half is my card base. Here's a panel to go inside to match the outside. And that's doodle bug paper. It's a 12 by 12 paper. As always, I put a little bit of glue just to hold my card close. It was sticking to my finger really good. And I left a little white border all around. I could have used the flowers also. It would have been pretty too. So just put that down. So yeah, so my video is not linked to the blog hop that's happening right now I just want to clarify that so I will have a link as I said and there's really nice project and if you didn't see the new release you could go check it out at the shop so here is my bottom layer and I put chicken wire I thought that would be cute and I used the big grass as you can see because I wanted a little taller card so I want the border on the top and on the bottom to match up so that's what I'm playing here and there and I'm gonna trim that off but as you'll see I want to trim the edge there because I want it to be looking clean and it just doesn't look like that so I'm gonna make it the same as the chicken wire piece would have been easier the other way but because that bottom piece wasn't long enough I thought this would be easier yes I could have went higher and cut it from there and then put it down but anyways sometimes I like to make my job a little harder okay <laughs> so here we go so here's my little boy gnome chicky and my little girl gnome was just playing around and I put my little baby chicks on the side and yes I will put putting these together to show you how I did did these but um, let's put the card together and you'll see first and that's why my finger that one on the left side has ink and markers <laughs> on the tip this looks funny because I did these beforehand before doing my card so I decided I'm gonna put the two on the left side and the two little chicks on the right side instead so here we go I'm gonna start putting them down so cute these are so fun to play with. And I decided to put the sentiment first so then I know how much space I have for the little girl. There. And I layered, if you can see, I got a little bit of green behind my sentiment. I just cut one more of those uh, outlines and just put it behind and just kind of offset it so you can see a little bit of green 
and here's my little bow for her and I matched the pattern on her little dress you don't see too much of it but I thought it would be cute to match it up that little chicky has only one pop uh, square and this one has two I just thought they'd be cute to have them not the same level and here I'm gonna put some bling on here and I just glued them down I kind of fussy about the little bling so I kind of skip that so you don't have to see oh no I don't like them there or whatever so I just put it when I have my glue in there here we go that one was having uh, giving me a hard time <laughs> uh, There is my card. Super fun. I just take the glue off. There it is. And we're going to start building some little chicks. Wild Honey is the color I'll be using. So for the little one and the other uh, gnome. So I'll show you how I blend this one kind of show a little bit for the girl too but I, I won't put all the details again because it's the same thing the wings and the little hat same thing so and here is the little egg hickory smoke gonna put a little bit of glue on the little legs there just like so and there's the beard and I use the same gray again And for the little mustache. And I glue down the beard. And as you can see, I just kind of like just rip the top piece of the hat. Yes, I could have used scissors and, <laughs> and be more um, <laughs> professional, but I just ripped it off. I didn't have scissors beside me when I did it. Yeah. That's how I craft, <laughs> but that's okay. You won't see it. See, after you put the hat on, you will not see it. And I just put a little bit of glue. Like those little hats with the little chickies. They're so cute. How oh, cute. And there's the egg so I'm just gonna put some pop dots here and put my egg shell on and it, you'll see with the girl gnome it's not as full like because he has a beard it kind of looks so much fuller um, she looks a little smaller you'll see that I just use a little bit of gray on the little feet here and this is the uh, tea dye that I'm using on the nose and I use the tea dye and I put a little bit on top of the wild honey I just thought it just bring it out a little bit more like darken it up a bit and I did like that look just a little darker 
and here I am gonna put a little pop dot and pop the little wings I'm pressing down there I'm gonna put a pop dot like in behind the shell and just grabbing the end of the little wings as you will see on the second one here see I'm a little bit off camera sorry about that it just so the wing kind of looks um, more attached to the little gnome and here I'm building the eye and the nose just rough where I want to put them and start gluing them at first I thought it would be really hard if you just set it up just like I said put it all together and then just start gluing perfect it's, it's not hard and here I'm putting a little bit of pop dots for the little beak and there's the little cheeks and with the girl I will show you what colors I used because they were all white the feet the beak and the little cheeks I did color them with the markers and here's the little eyes and I just put a little bling on the eyes for the white um, glare so it looks cute that way so here's the tea dye for the face and I did the same thing I just teared the top of the hat here and I'm putting her little dress and I'm putting a little bit of glue and I'm gonna put the little face how I put the face the base of the face I kind of line it up with the hat whatever hat you have I kind of want to lose the first little a row of um, stitches so just so it's just touching the bottom of it see how you don't see the stitches on the face and then I put my little pink tails I do it with my uh, gun because if I have to move anything if you use wet glue then you're stuck wherever it is and you want to try to move it you're gonna wreck something so that's why I always use my gun so it's easy to move see how I'm moving my little pink tails here and there and they get so much level uh, layers that it doesn't matter see how I'm skipping that because you've seen that already and you don't want to see that again I'm telling you <laughs> so here I'm gonna put some pop dots to put my little shell on and you'll see what I was saying see she's not as full because he has a big beard and she's a little thing right but still too cute and there I'm gonna put the little wings on but as the other one I had a little uh, pop dot holding it in the back I can't do that because there's nothing there to hold it and here's the little hat we'll glue that down So that's why I left both of them in there because they do look different and here this is what I do with my skin color I didn't show you that in the other one so E00 and I grab the tea dye just on top and because I had it just done it it was really wet so my pop dot was not holding to it it was saturated with marker that's why all good so here I'm gonna put my legs on just like I did to the first one and I like to have the little toes sticking a little bit on top of the egg as you can see and I put some pop dots here just like so 
here is for the cheeks, so RV11. So you can cut them all out different colors, or if you choose, you can color them like that I'm doing right now. And here's the beak, so YR16, and a little bit, just to say a little bit of 18 on the top here, just to make it a little darker. And for the inside of the eyes, for the black piece, and that's where I get messy, is the C9. Just like so, and like the first one. I'm just gonna position where I think I want them and glue them down. Put a little bit of pop dot on the little beak. Like that. And little cheeks. inside of the little eye and this time I'll show you also what kind of um, enamel that I used for the inside or a little bead and here it is I'll show you the package this is a old set that I had I had I got them at Michael's a long time ago years back they were on sale and here it is. And there's the cute little chickies. And here's the little ones. So I'm just going to show you quickly how I did those. Gently put some of the wild honey on top. I have three. I thought I was going to use the one with the hands on the bottom. You know, put them in the grass. But I... I decided just to use the two and here I got the tea dye just to darken it up a little bit and the little legs and like I said I used the RV 16 for the little beak and the little legs on the little chicks And I didn't do uh, no eyes or anything because they do have the little indentations of eyes. So I thought I'll just let them be and they're cute that way. There they are. Super cute. So there is my card again. And as I said, if you want to play along with the hop, there's going to be a link to my blog and the whole link of the blog hop is there and here is all the material again that I use for this fun card and all the release is available today and there's a freebie also for the first two days while they last so hope you like my card and I'll see you all soon bye